Hello, this is a, a, a video for the continuous annuity uh, based on the um, differential model. So the continuous annuity is the investment, an annuity is investment which amount of money P0 is called principal. Okay. And then um, play account that earns interest. And at the same time, the money is with, withdrawn. So take money out at regular intervals. If the compound and a withdrawal occurs over a short p interval, e enough intervals, we can assume continuous compounding at rate R and continuous withdrawals at rate of N dollars per year. This allows us to model the annuity by differential equation. Um, so the amount change, which is the rate, and PT minus N over R, P um, dp of dt is the rate of change, rpt is the growth due to interest, n is the withdrawal rate. Okay, that's the change. You take money, you earn. You put you earn the interest by the same time take money out. So this is the interest minus the money you take out. That's the uh, change, the money change rate, right? So solve this one. Uh, we are going to have, it's the same model like this, we have a general solution which is n over r plus CERT, which is very similar like the previous user separation variable method. Okay, in the previous two videos we introduced that. So next, um, this is an example of continuous annuity withdrawal rate n equals $5,000 per year. Interest rate is 5% and funded by initial deposit of 50000 What is the balance in annuity after 10 years? So the solution, um, the a general solution based on our model, the general solution is P over T equals N over R plus C E R T. We know that N equals 5,000 in this case. We also know R is 0 0.05. Okay, and the first question, and the, the T is 10 years. Um, first step we always need to do is solve C <coughs> based on the initial condition. The initial condition P0 is 50,000. So we plug in and solve C. 50,000 equals 5,000 over 0 0.05 plus C times E to 0 0.05 times 0, which is E to 0 is 1. You got that is 50,000 equals 100,000 plus C. You solve C here equals negative 50,000. So our model is 100,000 minus 50,000, we solve the C, times E to 0 0.05 T. So what's next? Let's find out the T years. After 10 years later, plug it in, 100,000 minus 50,000 times E to 0 0.05 times 10. And you plug it in, which gives you 17,563.94 dollars. All right, that's the first uh, part. The second part, let me ask you, when will the annuity run out of funds? Okay, run of funds. So which means the balance is zero. When does it equal zero? A hundred thousand minus fifty thousand e to zero point zero five t equals zero. Solve that and fifty thousand e to zero point zero five t equals a hundred thousand. So E to 0 0.05 T equals 2. So you solve here. Uh, T equals LN. Take L on the both sides. So 0 0.05 T equals LN2. LN2 over 0 0.05. So solve that T equals 13.86 years. Okay.